Hello everyone, today here in to learn how to create a API in Lagavelle. My name is Jörg Vegas and watch to the end so you don't make yourself some bugs in your code. The first thing is going to be the controller, because in the last video you've already learned how to create models, migration, seeds and factories. To access the controllers you are going to go to app, HTTP, controllers and in here it's the default one which is going to pull everything. I'm going to open the terminal and navigate to the cloth shop. CD cloth shop. In a cloth shop we are going to search for uh, PHP artisan serve which is now saving our application. Open a new terminal and write PHP artisan make controller. Let me just make sure that I'm doing it right. Controller. Now API Hmm, I see. Exactly, it's that way I want the API in the final. So, cloth controller, the second O should be, okay, controller and API. And now, okay, not, we could not find the artisan, of course not. We forgot to do something very important. We need to say that CD and cloth shop. So just navigate around the page. Now we insert it again and we create a cloth controller. It got created in here next to the controller, the principal controller. You could create a folder and put inside here a folder named API, but it's only if it is automatic. Before anything else, we are going to use the entity we created, the cloth one. After that, we are going to say that the cloth is going to be equals to the cloth, the call of model and selecting all of it. Now we can simply return a response of the type JSON because we only response as JSON and just put it here. There we go. I think this is going to work. Now the store, which is going to be the post one. This is the get, the store is the post, where we are going to create something. In here it's a little bit more tricky, that's why I'm going to paste it instead of writing with you. First the request. The request is going to be get from the body of the header of the post. After we are going to use the Insonia to test it. It is going to be written here in the JSON. Okay, after that, you are going to validate it, because this is just a validation. And you are going to validate every single attribute. Everyone is required, because they are not null. And the name only can have 255, the color only 50, the size only 4 and the price only 6. Probably, if you are smart enough, you could try to find something like only integer. After this, like only integer. I don't know, because our only number is only double, because the price made sense it. If you do that. After this, we are going to actually create a new cloth. Why don't we just create it? Because if we validate it and it does not meet the requirements that we validate, it is going to give an error and it is not going to be created. It's just a way of protecting your API. Now we'll just save it and we are going to re return a response as JSON with the new cloth just that we just created. The show, the get by ID, is going to be this one, find or fail with the model. Model find or fail, it's a function of the model and we are going to get the ID from the request and we are going to re return the response as just the uh, one that we asked for. Oh sorry, uh, you see that's just the, the explanation from the top one, the show. This is the show. The update is completely different. Now, the update also starts like this one. We find it or fail it. We need a specific insert to edit or otherwise we cannot edit anything. Then we are going to validate just like you did in post. In the store you could simply copy it here and paste in there. And after that you are going to put all the attributes that you want to be created. Since that cloth is going to have a name, a color, a size and attribute because the cloth it will return, will or fail, return a cloth, a complete cloth with all the parameters such as an ID and timestamps as well. And you are going to access this attribute from the object and reassign it to the one that we are going to receive from the request from the user. Then finally we save it and return the one that we updated. Finally the destroyed, which is really simple since you already know what find or fail means. Then if it actually finds it will delete and we are going to return it all simply because we want to check every cloth and see if ours got deleted. Now we are going to set the roots and to set the roots you simply go to the here and the uh, roots and to the API not channels or anything else just go to the roots API. In here you just remove this paste yours 
since it's root to dots to dots, we are going to use an API resource because we are creating an API, okay? A cloth is going to be the name in there and the cloth controller, which is going to be our controller that is going to be called. And we should also tell them it works our controller. And in here, the other way I made it, we are going to remove this API because we are not having this folder. And uh, there we go. Now we are going to test it. Now to check all our endpoints, we are going to PHP artisan, artisan, exactly, roots list not roots probably root okay and in here you are going to ignore this first form and you are going to check the get get all post create one get by id put or patch by id but we are not going to have patch i don't know why and the last one the delete it looks like it's working but now it's the time where we are going to check it in insomnia which i prefer using localhost two dots eight thousand api and in here i'm going to put cloth the moment of truth we are going to check and it's not found of course it's not found in guys it's not cloth it needs the e at the final oh my god how can you be so dumb <laughs> now you can see that the seeds that we created it's here working the price okay it's what we have and now we are going to start posting it as well to post something we are going to very tricky copy this the all the attributes that we can actually manage alt and these curly brackets and uh, enter now we simply need to change the names such as jeans of the color black size xl and the price 60 bucks six not five now we are going to post it and we got it created and it accept all of our parameters now we are going to also put it we are going to change jeans to jacket a black jacket who doesn't want it and it didn't work why isn't it accepting it because we need the id guys and uh, let's just edit the six because we need to give an id we cannot simply edit it and think that the program will know what we want with it now we are going to check it with the get and it will only show this black jacket after that we are going to delete it the sixth one and it got deleted the five it's here but the six is not now i'm going to teach you some some tricks to make your program slightly different instead of find or fail you can simply remove this find or fail and put find and instead of failing it you could simply put if cloth is equals to null you are going to return it return a response json and say that th we are going to say a message which is going to be not found and you could even put 404 just like the 404 error okay and this needs to be between between these strict brackets it's because it's an array it is an array with this value it doesn't have the json now if we try to delete something that we don't actually have such as a six message not found and the error 404 another thing that you could do instead of only showing all when you delete something you could do something like creating this one exactly and now say that data instead of showing the zero you could say that it is data okay and in in the front you can say 200 it's the error no, not the error but http code and you also give it a message message and return a message with deleted so now let's just copy this wait yes now copy this Control z and check how it is working okay how it is working the fifth one we are going to delete the fifth one and it shows like nothing in here and any message but if we put this return message it will say that the message not found yes because it's not found because we deleted it but now it will say that this is the data it will not show as a zero or as no name and it got deleted and with this i think i gave you a lot of information about creating a ai in laravel 9 about controllers and endpoints as well hope you guys enjoyed and see you soon